Tonight, the city of Minneapolis is trying to break a cycle. The latest large homeless encampment caught fire today, destroying the site and injuring at least two people. Video from Chopper 5 shows what little remains here. It's flattened. The city started clearing out encampments last month. This was the fourth location. Just hours after today's fire, a fifth location is taking shape just blocks away. But with these seeming to pop up when one is shut down, it begs the question, what is the city doing to stop the cycle and keep new encampments from showing up? Richard Reeve took those questions to the mayor. It was a smoky, destructive fire that struck without warning. I just saw the back corner of a yurt start on fire and... I, I just saw it like up in flames. The noontime blaze tore through the encampment along East 28th Street. Everyone was screaming at me to get out of my house. Ashley Jensen took these photos from her house next door. It was like a huge, like roaring fire. The flames were going up pretty high, but I noticed that it was spreading really, really fast. Firefighters got the flames under control in about 30 minutes, left behind a charred landscape. When's it going to end? One neighbor who doesn't want to be identified says the city needs to do something about the cycle of encampments cleared up and popping up elsewhere. The mayor's office and councilmen have to do better than this, do better for them, but also do better for the taxpayers here. Jensen says she's supportive of encampment residents needing a place to live, but she worries about her home siding buckled from the heat and the used needles in her yard. A little bit scary. I don't really know how to how to deal with that. Just hours after the fire, a new encampment popped up just blocks away. We asked Mayor Jacob Pry about solutions for the encampment cycle. It sounds like some of these solutions are not working. There's some people who just don't want to go into a shelter. What about those folks? We should be providing a continuum of care where we get people into shelter, and we've dramatically expanded our shelter system in Minneapolis and in the county. Uh, we then should be getting people into long-term and affordable housing. And, uh, and uh, we need to be looking at some of the root causes here. Meanwhile, camp organizers insist they're staying put until everyone living there has permanent shelter. They want to keep evicting with no solutions, go right on ahead. Like what I've been telling everybody, we're not going anywhere. And back here live now, you can see that that encampment is surrounded by a fence. It is in ashes. The folks who lived here have moved to a fifth encampment. Now, we should note that the mayor reiterated today he feels these encampments are not safe. The city working with groups like Helix Housing, which provided shelter for about 100 people. But as far as the future of this encampment cycle goes, it remains unclear. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News.